Alright guys, welcome back to another episode of Switch Tutorials, episode 5. So in this episode we're going to be looking at how to install cheats for our games and how to make our own cheats for our games in case the game we're wanting to cheat on doesn't have any cheats already you know, pre-made for it. So we're going to be looking at that in this episode. Check the playlist link in the description to see all the previous episodes. We've covered quite a few things so far. How to jailbreak the Switch, how to install games, how to install emulators, how to swap out the game game files using Layered FS so we could install PC mods for Skyrim and other stuff. So we've covered quite a bit so far. So first thing we're going to do in order to be able to do cheats, and when I say cheats I'm talking about stuff like you know, God mode, um, infinite ammo, unlimited money in a game, that kind of stuff. So in order to do that, we're going to need a program called Edison. Now, we probably already have it installed. Um, if you've followed since episode one, it comes with Cosmos, but we're not actually going to be using this version of Edison. We're going to be using a new version. Um, for some reason, all the versions, all there's multiple different versions, and they're all called version 3.0.1 for some reason, which gets a little bit confusing. So we're going to download a specific version from a specific website that is the latest version and has more options for uh, finding our own cheats in our games. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to unplug the SD card and plug it into our computer. Okay, so you can go to places like Max Cheats for cheats. You just search for you know the name of the game and download the cheat file. So to note, this cheat for Cuphead here is for version 1.2.2. So if you're on a different version of Cuphead, for example, you're on 1.00 or 1.3 point something, then the cheats might not work because you're on a different version. Most of the time they will still work, so it's worthwhile installing them anyway, but just be aware that they, there's a chance they won't work if you're on a different uh, version. Also, it says that it supports all regions and it also gives you the title ID and build ID, which I will be going over later as to why that's important too. Or you can download a big list like from the official GitHub page for Edison, there's a bunch of cheats. If we click here, I'll link this stuff in the description, of course. So as you can see, there's a big list of cheats here. If you scroll further down, you can see they're listed A to Z. So you can find the name of the game you're looking for and see if you know there's cheats for it already added here. And if there is, you can just download this entire repository. So if we click up here and we clone or download and download it as a zip file. So you can download your cheats that way. And to install them, if we head on to our SD card. Okay, so we can open this up, go, go to the cheat section. And we've got all of these title IDs in here for all of the different games. So we can just select them all and we'll uh, deselect the readme. And they of course go in the atmosphere and then titles folder on your SD card just like when you're you know using layered FS to swap out the game files it's the same place we put the title ID folders okay and that's them copied all over here you can see if I open one up you've got a cheats folder and then you have the base ID I believe it's called of the game as a text file and in there you've got your different cheats so the title of the cheat and the actual address and uh, data that's been written to memory to set that cheat. So that is what you have in there. Now also we're going to install Edison, we're going to install the latest version. So head to this website here that will be linked in the description and download the latest version of Edison. So right now that is the 2019-04-22 version which was last modified at 5.31 p.m. I don't know how often this gets updated so just download the latest version. If it's radically different to the version that I'm showing in this video then you can just download the same version that I use in this video um, but otherwise just download the latest version. So I have it downloaded here. So it just comes as one file edison.nro so if we head back into the root of our SD card you may already have Edison installed. If so, you might have an Edison folder in the root of your um, SD card. If you do, just delete it. You may also have one in the switch folder. If you do, again, just delete that too. And then we can create one from scratch. So in the switch folder, create a Edison folder. Edison. And then open that up and copy the edison.nro file into the switch folder. And there we go, that's you got Edison installed, no problem. And we're pretty much ready to go. One thing to note though, is if you go into the atmosphere folder and you run the loader.ini file, it will say that to enable cheats, you have a button combination. So it's got uh, exclamation mark and L, that means not L basically. So if you hold down the L button, it will not enable the cheats. If you do not hold down the L button, it will enable the cheats. And you can swap that out, of course. You can change that to L, 
uh, if you remove the exclamation mark then that means holding down the L button will enable the cheats and not holding it down will disable the cheats. But I'm just going to leave it as is but it's just worth noting in case you're watching this in a few months time and you know a new version of Atmosphere has changed the override key or the enable key for the cheats so just check to make sure it is the same and you know you can change it to whatever you want. So there we go. All right, so now we can unplug our SD card and plug it back into the switch. Okay, so here we are back on the switch, booted back up into our custom firmware. So I'm gonna launch a game that I know the cheats support. I checked the title ID and Shovel Knight is inside the that big list of cheats that we installed. So we should have cheats enabled for this. So I'm not holding down any buttons on the Joy-Con, so that will enable the cheats. Of course, if I held down the L button, that would disable the cheats. And as you can see, I've got 99999 gold and a lot of lives, way more lives than you normally start with. I believe you start with four lives in this game, um, four of those little red circles. So as you can see, the cheats automatically enable. Now to enable and disable them, you can just press the home button, go into your homebrew menu and run Edison. And then you can, now this, your version may look different, so you might have a different option. For me, I go down to this little square box with the C in it and I press A on it and that will take me to the game that's currently running and there's all the cheats. Now, if you're on a different version, there might be a certain button like at the bottom how it says LZ for editable titles. You might have one that says press Y for cheats so you would just hover over your game that you're currently running and press the Y button. Uh, that would open up the same section. So here you can enable and disable your different cheats from within here. So that's all well and good and you know any cheats that you have installed you can just run the game, go on Edison to enable or disable them. They will be enabled by default though and uh, yeah and if you don't want them enabled at all just hold down the L button when you launch your game and there'll be no cheats enabled. So what about a game that doesn't actually have cheats? So let's run Wolvenstein uh, the New Colossus. I did check on Max Cheats and a couple of other sites. I couldn't find any cheats already made for this game. Um, I could be wrong though. Uh, there may be some out there, but just in a quick search, I didn't find any. So this will be a good example, hopefully. Okay, so here we are on the game here. Now, if I head back into Edison, you'll see that there are no cheats available for this game. So what do we do if there are no cheats available for this game? So you can actually use Edison like cheat engine to find cheats within your games and then once you've found a few cheats you can basically turn those into a cheat file like the ones we installed earlier. Um, so what we can do is let's say I want to find unlimited ammo for example. So you can see in the bottom right hand corner I have 45 bullets in my clip. 45. So if I search for the 45 value in Edison and the way we do that is we head back onto Edison and then, and then we do the search RAM option with Y. And then it'll say, what type of value are you searching for? So I'm going to do UN32. And you can search for, you know, ammo. Something like ammo is going to be an integer. So it's going to be either a UN16 or UN32, uh, typically. But, you know, you can search for floats and other values as well. So next we head over to mode. So what uh, type of search do you want to perform? So equals equals is an exact value. You're searching for a specific value. Then we have the region of memory that we're searching through. So that's set to the heap. You can also search through, you know, the whole RAM or the main or heap plus main. Sometimes the, uh, the value you're looking for will be in main. Sometimes it will be in the heap. Uh, I'm just gonna search through the heap because it will be faster. Hopefully the value's in there. And then we have the value that we want to search for, which in this case is 45. So I'm going to perform a search for 45. And then it's going to search through the game's memory in that section, the heap section of memory. And it's going to look for all the occurrences of the value 45 that are a, a UN32. Okay, so it found almost 8,000 values. So too many values to go through. So just like with any other kind of cheat engine program, what you do is you change the value in game by firing our gun. So now we have 34 bullets in our clip. So then we go back into Edison and then we do search again and then we'll do the exact same settings as before. But this time the values change to 34. So we search for the value 34 and search now. 
Okay, and there we go. As you can see, only a few values that it's found. So you can go through each of these values one by one, setting the value to something different like 999, just to see which value it actually is. It's bound to be one of these. Okay, so I've gone through the first three. I just skipped over those. It wasn't any of those. I'm going to do the next one now. Hopefully it's this one. So we'll go back, change this to 999. Click OK. Now the value's changed. Go back into the game. And there you go. It's changed to 999. So we found the correct value. And whoop. Guy dropped down there. Um, and as you can see, the value's gone back to normal again. So even though I changed it to 999, as soon as you fire the gun, the value resets. But what you can do is you can go back into Edison. Now that we've found that value, and we can pause the value so we can press uh, X on it and that will freeze the variable. So that will freeze the value at 45 so it can't change. So now when we go back into the game here, you can see the value is trying to change but it keeps going back to 45. And now I have a proper unlimited ammo cheat enabled in the game right here. So now that we've found that, we can actually add that. Um, we can note down that address and then we'll create a cheat file out of it. So if I note down that address, that uh, 00969172.30, I'll note that down. And um, I'm also going to try and find a few other things. I'll skip over that though, but I'm going to try and find the, the ammo that's in reserve, which is 291. And I'm also going to try and find the value for the health and the armor. And then hopefully once I've found those values, I'll be back with you guys and we can turn those into a cheat file. Okay, so back over to the computer here. So I've managed to find the armor and the health and we've got our two ammo values. So we can make a little cheat file out of this. So armor and health just took way long, way too long to find. So I didn't bother um, recording that because there was some issue in Edison with finding floats. Hopefully that will be fixed in some future version of Edison. But right now finding floats in Edison is a bit of a nightmare because sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. And you have to go through a whole kind of workaround process to search for them. So. Um, yeah, so let's go ahead and create this into a cheat file. So to do that, we're going to use sxcheattool.exe. So uh, what you want to do is select code type as memory write. Make sure you select write to heap uh, or because or that's the section of memory that we were searching through. So then let's do the ammo. So we add ammo. We don't add the 0x at the start. And then we add what kind of value we're going to add. So I'm going to do 999 for ammo and add that. Then I'm gonna do the same for the other ammo value. So I'm gonna paste that in and add that. And then we can give this a title. So at the top, you can put in square brackets your title. So that's gonna be uh, the title of what the cheat is basically. So I'm gonna do INF for infinite ammo. And then we will add another one under here for INF um, infinite armor. And then we will go ahead and add our armor value. So we'll add that. And then we will do one more, which is of course, infinite health or God mode, which is this one here. So I'm gonna add this value in and add that. So that adds it. Now these are actually float values. So 999 adding the value as a, you know, an eight bit, 16 bit, 32 bit or 64 bit isn't gonna work. Um, so I'm going to have to search for a float to hex converter, which is what I had to do when I was actually searching for the floats because the it wasn't uh, searching for the correct value. So um, yeah, so the value of the health is 100. So we'll lock it at 100. So I'll search for the hex value for a float for 100, which is this value here. So we'll add that in. Obviously, we don't want the 0x, but we'll add that in there and in there. And that will do. So now I can copy that to clipboard and then I can uh, paste that into the text document so it's all correctly formatted. So now when we go on Edison and we use this, we'll have an infinite ammo, an infinite armor and an infinite health option that we can enable and disable and it'll all be enabled by default. So uh, first thing we need to do is to get the structure right. So we need to create a folder with the title ID of the game. Now I still have um, Edison running here. So it gives you the title ID at the top. So I can just create a folder with that name. So 01009040091E0000. So that's the title ID. And then I'm gonna save this text document into that folder. But inside this folder, we have to have a cheats folder. 
we have a cheats folder and then we save the text document file in the cheats folder so file save as so we're going to save it into the cheats folder in that title id folder i'm just going to call it cheats right now dot text file but the text file itself has to be named the base id of the game which is the bid that's underneath the bottom one right here so it needs to be named that so i need to name it 3f749 E59 FBAEE 44E. So I have to name it that. So that is how we have it structured. We have the title ID, then a cheats folder in there, and then the cheat file itself, which should be named the base ID of the game with our cheats all formatted correctly inside. Close out of this, we'll open up uh, Atmosphere and then go into the titles folder and add this title in there. So now we can boot back up and launch the game and our cheats should be enabled. Okay, so here we go. I press Y to continue. I'm just loading up the game and boom, there we are. Check out my health, 100 and my armor's 100 and my ammo is stupidly high as well and it's not going down as I fire. See if I can get shot at by some guys. Here they come. And they're shooting me and as you can see it's trying to go down but the the cheats keep setting the value over and over again in memory so it stays the value just stays as what it I set it to so it will never actually go down so there you go that's god mode and uh, unlimited ammo and if I actually go out and show you in Edison so if we go out into album and we go on to Edison again there you go you can see we've got cheats showing up now we've got infinite ammo um, infinite armor, infinite health. Now if I turn that stuff off and go back into the game there you can see you can see it's now going down and if I fire my gun you can see my ammo's gone back to normal when I reload this will probably go back to normal as well. Yep it's back down to 357 so everything's back to normal and then you can just turn it on by going back into album loading up Edison and enabling your cheats infinite ammo, infinite armor, infinite health and boom back in the game and we're we're back with all of our cheats enabled again so yeah there you go so that might have been a bit of a long video i'm not sure i did skip over the trying to find the health and armor because that took forever with you know edison being kind of broken uh with finding floats but hopefully like i said by the time you guys are watching this um you know the float searching will be fixed in edison hopefully and uh, yeah, so that's how you install cheats, you know, download them, install them, get them working and how to find your own cheats and turn it into a cheat file so that, uh, you know, you can just enable them, enable and disable them as you like uh, in your games. So hope you guys enjoyed the video or found the information useful. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe and stay tuned for future um, Switch tutorials and uh, check out the playlist link in the description to see all the previous episode so thanks for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one